Today I am not going to waste a lot of your time but I am going to give you really really important information. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beardy Shukra. My name is Abhijit Bansali and in today's video I am going to be giving you few tips by which you can check if your essential oil that you bought from the market is good enough. Is it pure? Is it adulterated? Is it mixed with certain other things? These tests are not lab tests. These are not going to tell you if the quality of that essential oil, even if let's say that the essential oil is 100% pure, there's no adulteration done to it. It still does not mean that it is of the best quality that you can get. Okay. It just means that it's not adulterated. It's not diluted. And what you're getting is the essential oil, but the grade of essential oil, the quality of essential oil, that is only going to be able to be found out with a lab test, with a chemical report. Now, the first test that I'm going to tell you is the freeze test. With the freeze test, all you have to do is just take that essential oil and put it in the freezer, okay? Now, when you put it in the freezer, give it around a couple hours, remove it out of the freezer, and if you see that the essential oil is still liquid, if it's still moving, you can still hear it, it's okay, it's great. This just means that there was no water used as dilution for that essential oil. Now what some companies do, the ones especially that sell essential oils really, really cheap, just to fill that volume, they'll add a little bit of water to it. If some part of the essential oil freezes when you put it in the freezer, that means that it was diluted with water or with something that freezes. Okay, so automatically you know that it's not 100% pure. Now, the second test is the paper test. Okay, now traditionally and to do it in the correct manner, you're supposed to do it with a cotton rag paper. Okay, and not with any other paper, not with tissue paper, not with uh, the A4 size bleached sheets of paper, not with all of those. You're supposed to do it with a cotton rag paper. But since I don't have it now, and since I need to at least give you an idea of what can happen, what kind of results you can see. I'm using an A4 sheet paper. Usually why we don't use this is because they are chemically bleached. They have some chemicals in it, which might react with the essential oil and give you some weird results. Now I'm going to take three oils. One is a therapeutic grade lavender essential oil. One is a therapeutic grade rosemary essential oil. And one is an aroma oil. Now the reason I'm taking an aroma oil over here is to show you that there is a difference between therapeutic grade essential oils and aroma oils and I'm going to show you that what exactly are the different results that you're going to get with this. Now when you put a drop of essential oil on paper you will see a blot okay but that blot usually won't have a dye or a color to it okay unless and until it's a citrus oil some citrus oils do have a slightly yellow or yellowish orange tint to it but apart from that most essential oils won't have that now you need to let it be let it just air dry okay and just keep a note of the time now as an ideal result essential oil pure undiluted essential oil should not leave any residue or any mark on the paper zero after a while it should be you should not be able to even tell if there was essential oil on that paper it should be gone because essential oils are extremely extremely volatile okay now what you need to make sure is once you've put the drop on the paper if that drop vaporizes okay it just evaporates in less than maybe 20 minutes that means that that essential oil didn't have water because it didn't freeze in our freezer test but it might have alcohol or some form of antifreeze volatile agent which didn't freeze alcohol doesn't freeze in the freezer but alcohol will make it evaporate really really quickly so if that happens then again you know that this is not completely completely undiluted or completely pure i have put the aroma oil because aroma oils are a mixture of essential oil plus carrier oils and as you can clearly see that after keeping it for around 30 minutes or even a little bit more than that you can see a blot there is an outer ring and that outer ring is of a carrier oil if you see such a thing with undiluted therapeutic grade essential oil that means that it was adulterated or diluted with a carrier oil if it was diluted with a carrier oil it won't freeze in the freezer test that freezer test was only to find out if there was water 
This test is to find out if there is alcohol or any other carrier oil. It should not leave any spot on that cotton rag paper. If the company has mentioned that this is 100% undiluted and it has a therapeutic grade essential oil, but you got this ring, okay, and you got this separation of oils on your paper, that means that that company is lying to you and you should never buy from that company ever again. I'm sure a lot of you guys who are watching this channel already have bought a few essential oils. Do this test, find out whether the essential oil that you have is actually pure. Now, as a general rule of thumb, essential oils are expensive, okay? Especially true lavender essential oil, especially true rose essential oil, especially the essential oils from flowers or plants which are really hard to harvest those are going to be expensive. So as a rule of thumb, you should go for an essential oil that is slightly expensive and which mentions which part of the plant has been used. Is it the flower? Is it the stem? Is it the leaf? What has been used? Is it steam distilled or is it made from another process? When it was harvested, what is the expiry date? If you have the essential oil which passes all these tests, Great, it's good to go, you don't need to worry about anything. But this is something that I wanted to bring awareness about and I hope this video helps you out. If you like this video, please hit that like button, it really helps the channel. And apart from that, share this video with your friends and family members. Subscribe to The Bearded Chokra, let's hit 200k before this year ends. Press the bell icon, otherwise you'll miss the videos on this channel. If you like this effort and if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. There's a link in the description down below where you can contribute monetarily and that would really, really help this channel. Apart from that, all the social media links, good essential oil links, I'm putting it down in the description. With that said, till we meet again, be awesome, keep your beard awesome and I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.